So the Sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he with his grandsons, Al-Hasan and Al-Husayn radiyallahu anhumah, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to seek refuge on behalf of them in Allah from evil. So he used to say, أُعِذُكُمَا بِكَلِمَاتِ اللَّهِ التَّامَّةِ مِنْ كُلِّ شَيْطَانٍ وَهَامَّةِ وَمِنْ كُلِّ عَيْنٍ لَّامَّةِ Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he used to say, I seek refuge in Allah on behalf of you two, his grandsons, from shaytan, in the perfect words of Allah, from shaytan and poison and anything that can harm you in the evil eye. So from here the ulama say that children, they cannot recite Quran, they don't know how to read, they don't know how to seek protection for themselves from evil, from shaytan, from the evil eye. So, from, so a parent, a parent should seek refuge on behalf of their child. So this is very important. In the morning and the evening, before a child goes out, at night, different times of the day, a parent should recite, I, I, I seek refuge for you by the perfect words of Allah. So it's In English, in Arabic, all of it fits, but basically what the person is doing is he's seeking refuge in Allah on behalf of his children. And when he does this, he doesn't need to specifically have his hand on his child. He doesn't need to specifically hand his, have his hand on his child. He can, he can blow on his child, dry spit, slightly blowing dry spit. He doesn't need to, uh, but he can do so. This is now outside of ruqya. This is now ta'weed. This is now tahsin. This is now seeking protection. It's not doing ruqya. So you don't need to specifically have your hand on the child while reciting these prayers for them. Or you don't need to blow on them after. You can. It's fine if they're near. You can do it. If they are not near by you, you can do it as well. Seeking refuge uh, in Allah using the absent pronoun. أُعِيذُهُ بِكَلِمَاتِ اللَّهِ Seek refuge for him in the perfect words of Allah. You can do it like that. And also when a person recites, for example, بِسْمِ اللَّهِ الَّذِي لَا يَضُرُّ مَعَ اسْمِهِ شَيْءٌ فِي الْأَرْضِ وَلَا فِي السَّمَاءِ وَهُوَ السَّمِيعُ الْعَلِيمُ Those kind supplications for protection in the morning and evening, then he can intend, he should intend then his children as well. Because those kind of supplications, there's no, there's no specific pronoun in them. There's no specific pronoun in them. So a person then intends his children. So a person then intends his children. So this is a very important practice, seeking the refuge for your children until they can do it themselves. So a person can do it, as we said, touching the child, blowing on the child, or not, or not. Because this is not okay, this is ta'wil. So uh, uh, the, the matter is broad scope, the matter is broad scope. <laughs>